Nothing wraps you in luxury like Schmitten chocolates. Welcome to the presentation on general water safety provided by the Be Water Safe program of the American Red Cross of Northwest Michigan. The American Red Cross has been a leader in life-saving water safety and swimming instruction since 1914. This presentation will cover the importance of water safety education and will provide general water safety tips to help keep you and your friends safe in the water this summer. The objective of this presentation is to provide education about water safety in order to prevent drowning deaths in our community. After this presentation, you will be able to 1. recognize the importance of water safety, and 2. explain the steps to take in order to remain safe in, on, and around the water. Drowning is one of the leading causes of unintentional injury-related deaths in the United States today and is a serious risk for people your age. Drowning deaths have continued to rise in northern Michigan. In fact, in the past four years, 328 people have drowned in the Great Lakes, while drownings continue each year to occur in smaller inland lakes in our area. Did you know that young men between the ages of 15 and 24 are three times more likely than women to die from drowning? One explanation for this is that young men are more likely to take risks in the water and are also more likely to consume alcohol and swim, which puts them at a higher risk for drowning. There are several factors that can increase the risk of drowning. They include being an inexperienced or weak swimmer, having a lack of supervision, swimming near locational hazards like sudden drop-offs or underwater currents, failing to wear a life jacket when boating or kayaking, and drinking alcohol before going in the water. The best way to prevent drowning is to be aware of these risk factors and to take steps to reduce your risk. Here are some general tips to reduce your risk of drowning and to stay safe in the water. One, if possible, only swim in areas supervised by a lifeguard. If there is no lifeguard on duty, you should make sure that you are aware of your surroundings and are ready to respond to a water emergency. 2. Always swim with a buddy. You should never swim alone. If you are going kayaking or paddleboarding alone, your buddy can be your life jacket. 3. Read and obey all rules and posted signs. If a beach or lake has a no swimming sign, do not attempt to swim there. Four, know and respect your swimming abilities. Inexperienced swimmers should take extra precautions in the water, such as wearing a life jacket when going swimming. Five, watch out for the dangerous twos. A swimmer's risk of drowning is greatly increased if they are too tired, too cold, too far away from safety, had too much sun, or had too much strenuous activity. Think about how you're feeling before you get in the water and be aware of your surroundings when swimming. Are you too far from the shore? Is there anyone nearby that could help you in an emergency? These are important questions to ask in order to reduce your risk of drowning. Which leads up to tip six. Be aware of the water environment and potential hazards where you're swimming. Sudden drop-offs or deep areas are dangerous risks for drowning, as well as water that is especially cold. If you recognize that the environment is unsafe, do not attempt to swim or let others swim in that area. 7. Know how to prevent, recognize, and respond to emergencies. Get trained by taking a first aid and CPR class or a water safety course. We'll get you more information about that later. 8. You should always try to enter the water feet first. You should dive headfirst only when the area is clearly marked for diving and has no obstructions. Diving in water that is not clearly marked safe can cause head and neck injuries, paralysis, and death. Don't try it. Nine, do not drink and swim. Alcohol is one of the greatest risk factors for drowning. Alcohol impairs judgment, balance, and coordination, 
It impacts your ability to operate watercraft safely, it negatively affects swimming and diving skills, and it also reduces your body's ability to stay warm. Never mix alcohol with swimming. 10. Be prepared. Aquatic emergencies happen quickly and suddenly. A person in the final stage of drowning has only between 20 and 60 seconds before sinking underwater. If you think a swimmer is in distress, you need to react quickly. Whenever possible, have a cell phone nearby to call 911. Now that you know some general water safety tips, you should talk to your friends about water safety, especially if you're going out to the beach together. Make sure your friends know the risks and hazards of the water, and know the different risks associated with different bodies of water. For example, if you're going out to Lake Michigan, make sure that everyone is aware of potential riptides and how to escape them. If you're going to an inland lake, be aware of potential hazards like sudden drop-offs. Spending time in and around the water is a great way to have fun with your friends. You just need to make sure that everyone is aware of the risks and the precautions they need to take to be safe. A simple way to keep your friends safe is to always bring a flotation device when going swimming together, just in case. A flotation device can be a life ring, a life jacket, or something as simple as an empty milk jug with a rope attached. All of these devices can keep a distressed swimmer afloat. Remember, never attempt to rescue a drowning person without a flotation device. Drowning is a serious risk, not a joke. Never pretend to be drowning, and never assume someone is joking if they appear to be drowning. It's important that you remember that friends don't let friends drink and swim. If you're going to drink with your friends, make sure that they know the risks of alcohol and do not attempt to swim after drinking. Drowning doesn't always look like it does in the movies. Often, it is quick and silent. A swimmer may be visibly in distress, or may be silently drowning. Know the signs of each. A swimmer in distress may call for help or might wave their arms, but a person in the final stages of drowning is unable to call for help and may not be able to lift their head above the water. Take a moment to read over these different warning signs. Do not hesitate to respond if you think a swimmer is in trouble. A person who is in the final stage of drowning may have only 20 seconds before it's too late. If you see someone in distress, react quickly. Here are the steps to take if you see a swimmer in distress. A person who is drowning has the best chance for survival if you follow these steps. First, know the signs of a distressed swimmer. If you recognize that someone is in danger, you should have a friend call 911 immediately. If there's no one to call 911, you should attempt to rescue the person only if you have a flotation device. Call 911 for help after you have rescued the swimmer. If you are trained in first aid and CPR, provide care if necessary. Use an AED only if you are trained and there is one available. Alright, so let's review what we've learned. The best way to prevent drowning and reduce your risk for water-related emergencies is to know and respect your swimming abilities, be aware of your environment and surroundings and the risk they pose. Take precautions to reduce risk, things as simple as bringing a flotation device to the beach or not swimming in cold water. Never ignore a call for help, take the threat of drowning seriously, and remember that water always poses a risk. Remember that you can get trained. You can become a trained... <laughs> If you're interested in this cause, you can get trained. You can become trained in life-saving skills either through a first aid class, a water safety course, or a lifeguarding class. You can sign up for a first aid and CPR class at the American Red Cross by calling 1-800-RED-CROSS or visiting redcross.org slash take a class. You can take a water safety or lifeguarding class at the Traverse City Civic Center by calling 231-922-4818. You may be eligible to receive a scholarship from the American Red Cross of Northwest Michigan to take any of these classes. Contact the Red Cross at 231-947-7286 for more information. Thanks for listening.